Welcome back to another video. So, um, in this one, I am unboxing and reviewing the KB Glow from the Katie Barnes range. The first thing I did there was just unbox and show you the power pack that comes with it. Um, I've set this up on my nail desk and I'm just snipping this bad boy open, slotting it out and um, opening up all of the um, packaging and stuff. There was loads of really good packaging, which was really cool, um, and loads of bubble wrap and sweets as well, which was amazing. I just literally ripped through that. And um, <laughs> yeah, love loved getting little sweeties in with my order, which was a really cool little touch as well. So I was like, right, I'm gonna pull this cable out, but no, that's attached to the top panel. As you can see, I'm pointing at that. Don't pull that cable out, it is attached to the panel. Right, so I started putting all these bits and pieces to the side um, and just had to look through to see what there was inside. I was so excited. I ordered the KB Glow and the accessories pack where you get the feet and the markers and you get the battery pack as well. So those strips are the filming markers that you can put on your um, non-reflective base plate and it will give you the markers of where your filming area is and I'll show you that as well. Um, so in this little envelope was my invoice. I've just put a little walk-in fronk over there so you can't see um, my address and pop around for a cup of tea. And it was all like handwritten with little love hearting, which I think was a really cute touch again. Love that, that. So um, just showing you that it's shiny one side and matte the other and non-reflective matte surface is the one you want facing upwards. Um, and then, I have since found out that there is a manual that you can download to um, set this up but what I will say is that I didn't know that because I'm a little bit um, dense so um, because the manual didn't come with it we kind of just me and my partner figured it out as we went along um, so when I show you the inside of it it isn't like fully flush together because I put the back panel that comes off on the inside instead of the outside um, of where I've put the things to get. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, but you can see it's not all flush down. This is without the legs. Um, so this is just the standard height. And as you can see, I'm gonna put my rotten hand nails in front of the camera. Ew, look at those, nasty. But great opportunity. Now I've got a cool bit of kit to film in um, to, to do some nails. So this is the inside of it. You can see those little bits um, pop down for the holder on the top. There's a little rivet in for the cable to sort of go and be tucked away or flush, which is cool. Um, I'm going back to the battery pack and just so you can see like the cable tucks around the side you can put it on the side next to you you can put it on top which is really cool um, it's a massive battery pack and it will last literally forever so just showing you like the inside this is without the lights on um, inside it and just with my daylight lamp um, shining through it this is with no lights on at all and just like my um, salon light on um, um, so the lighting isn't um, yeah so I'm just kind of like showing you I, I've put my hands out to the sides and I'm showing you roughly how big that area is you can sort of gauge by my hands I haven't got huge like monster hands or anything um, I'm gonna just I thought it'd be a good idea to measure out the dimensions so without legs it is 11 and a half inches wide the viewing area um which is about 28 and three quarter centimeters um and it's about six inches high now that's not the actual interior area that is your viewing area well, well through my phone anyway um and then with the legs which obviously raises the height by about sort of six inches or so you've got about 17 width which is an extra five and a half inches um and then you've got something like yeah 10 inches of height which is about an extra four inches um of height so this is more like 
Katie showed on the website for people that do like lashes you get a whole head in here and again this is my I'm filming in um like YouTube proportion so um that's about as big as you can get but for YouTube um that's the sizes anyway so this is the daylight lamp um just shining through that hole and I'm gonna just chuck in some design sets of nails that I've done and show you yeah you go there's the <laughs> look at the difference in lighting that's mental absolute madness so my daylight lamp cost me an absolute fortune and it is brilliant I must say I love that but this light box is just something else like the the light and the clarity you get off it I mean I've chosen here like bubble roses and I've chosen some like contrast for the autumn set that I did um, just to show you like how well that picks up. And because it's like the little LED lamps, you're not getting big lines of light. You're not getting um, like big strips or like when you use a ring light, you're not getting like a really clear ring um, shine on your pictures either. You're getting sort of that that really faint dotted effect so again i'm just messing with the lights to show you the difference i've just popped those off um probably just gonna mess around a bit yeah and back on what on earth man that's yeah anyway but i just wanted to show you the difference in the lighting and what you can achieve taking photographs because i'm really desperate to do a set of nails in here on a client or on my silicon hand or even on myself um, but also I really love to take pictures of the sets that I've done and I do tutorials and I do workshops as well so um, another thing I wanted to look at in this box is contrast so I wear black gloves which means that any white backgrounds change um, like the depth of the lighting depending on whether I wear white gloves or black gloves whether I'm doing a primarily um, pale set or a dark set and I just wanted to see what it was like in the light box in the KB Glow with um, white gloves, dark gloves, light sets, dark sets. So I've taken this set which you can't really see it's so bright. Um, these were like uh, ice cube nails for uh, one of my workshop little mini tutorials I did. Um, so they're most so they're all white and clear basically. Um, and I like that the, you are able to see it and I, you know, I would put a contrasting colour underneath that if I was filming for a project. Um, but yeah, the light is amazing on it. And again, with a dark set, these, this was like galaxies and stuff. I thought that's going to be a brilliant set to show off like clarity in this really professional um, bit of kit I mean it's made my photos and stuff look like I've had a professional photographer do it and I've done it on my phone which is um, a Samsung Galaxy like S20 plus or something so yeah ma absolute madness I'm really really impressed with it as a bit of kit um, it was despite the fact that um, I was too stupid to look for a manual online though um, it was actually really easy to put together it took us about 10 minutes of faffing and fiddling around like I said I did figure out that the back panel does go on the back rather than the front of front of the back of the front you know what I mean anyway that and um, I'm faffing with light skin and look you can see with the daylight lamp you get that strip of light on the shiny surface which isn't really aesthetically pleasing um, and I've sort of turned them off and then turn that off and turn that back on Ta -da! amazing amazing i'm really blown away by it and i've left a lot of this stuff in um because i was really like wow this is actually really really cool um i am i don't do lashes or brows or anything like that but i am really pleased that i bought the legs and everything else because i am an artist and i do videos of my artwork as well and I am going to actually draw inside the box. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I think that would be really cool. I'm just going to show you a little bit around the box as well. And that's kind of it. That's a bit of a wrap. But yeah, I'm absolutely blown away by it. If anyone's got any questions about anything, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, 
but yeah a really really cool bit of kit um i haven't really got anything else to say about it other than that watch this space thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye